is a gross miscarriage of justice. Unjustly incarcerated. It's what community members say is happening to Omar Amin. Amin, accused of being an ISIS commander who murdered an Iraqi police officer. Last month, U.S. Magistrate Judge Edmund Brennan ruled that federal prosecutors' evidence against Amin was, quote, dubious and ordered Amin be released immediately. Rochelle Barber is part of a team of attorneys who helped win his extradition case. They made him out to be the financial commander of ISIS, a military commander, a prolific maker of IEDs, everything in the book they threw at him. And the U.S. government gobbled it up. The fight isn't over. Barber is now working with immigration attorneys, hoping to get a mean released from Immigration and Customs Enforcement custody. After Judge Brennan threw out Amin's case, ICE picked him up. It claims Amin made false statements on his refugee application, including not having any involvement with Al-Qaeda members, not committing any crimes, and lying about how his father was intentionally shot to death in Iraq. These allegations by ICE are essentially the same charges he faced and beat in the extradition proceedings. Amin's immigration attorneys filed a release request with ICE asking it review the case in light of the federal court's decision. Their assertion is ludicrous. The facts are clear. We don't know why they're doing this and we demand answers. Amin's wife, speaking to KCRA 3 through a translator, says she's trying to find answers to explain to her children why their father can't come home. Yes, they all understand and uh, they're hoping every single day that this will be the day he's actually released. His wife and members of the Islamic community praying, holding out hope, Amin will be released in time to spend the last days of Ramadan with his family. This is a month of fasting, sacrifice, and for us to reconnect with our with our Lord. And this is also a month for us to spend with our families.